Hi everyone, it's Kaya here and today we'll unbox together Claudine Wolf Refresh Look. It's her Core 2 or Basic Wave 2 doll and as you can see she looks amazing. There's new outfit, new makeup, even crescent is changed and I'm so excited because there's a lot of purple in her design and as you know purple is iconic color for Claudine so yeah I'm just amazed. So let's not make it longer and let's unbox her. Here she is inside of the box and as always I want to show you first her new art style right there. It's made by Darko and as always I will say it, it looks amazing. I love Darko's style. Here we have Crescent of course with new mold and here is doll with accessories. And at the back we have new art style of Claudine and here we have some info monster type iconic werewolf slash human monster must have howling agenda and lunar sandwich monster pet crescent and of course it's right there in other languages and here we have made in Indonesia so it's Indonesian variant but yeah now let's unbox her and here she is. As always, I will start with her accessories. Here we have Note, I believe, because there is Claudine Wolf name. And we can open it. And inside we have just, just some notes. As you can see, there are claw marks. And maybe Claudine was hungry, so... Here we have, of course, golden glasses with moons on the sides. And they are really nicely made, to be honest. So yeah, here we have this water bottle or water flask with a lot of moons and of course we can open it but I don't put anything in those. Next we have sandwich and there is funny thing about it. I was curious if we can open it because this plastic bag with sandwich inside. I wanted to check out if we can take out this sandwich and I destroy it. So I need to glue it together. This is how it looks inside and yeah it's just sandwich with moon and it's inside plastic bag next we have this thing it's a brush but i'm sure in tv series there was a name for it i can't remember what was it but yeah it's just brush for claudine's fur here we have howl energy bar with howling wolf right there at the back there's nothing and here we have backpack, it's translucent purple with a lot of spikes going on right here, right there and on the sides. Here we have golden moons and this chain. Oh, it's really cute, but I'm not sure what is there, like a moon and other moons. But okay, there is zipper, here we have more chains, I hope camera can catch it. And of course there's a lot of details, I love this. And we can put her accessories inside if you want to. Here we have new present, really cute. I love this new body and face mold. As you can see, this time crescent has closed eyes. And this, is it different? I'm not sure now, but I think, yeah, no, 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 no. It's same, but maybe a little bit more like yellowish. Last time I believe it was more golden color, but anyway, it's still cute. And now it's time for start of this video. Of course, there's Claudine's doll. I will start from right here. Here we have boots on really high platforms. They are almost like a really dark purple. Uh, on camera, they look a little bit bluish. Sorry for that, but believe me, they are purple. Here we have, of course, moons on the sides. There are spikes and claw marks. On the bottom of the shoes, we have more claw marks. And nothing more. Here we have trousers with really cute pattern which reminds me of G1 Claudine's dolls. Here we have golden belt with moon shape part right there. Here we have top. It's black top with lilac. Is it lilac? Yeah on camera it looks white but it's lilac claw marks. And here we have this necklace with chains and moons. And here we have this really cute, really cool jacket. It's 
you know, just simple school jacket maybe, because there is Monster High logo and some stickers. You have white collar and white part of sleeves, but this is one part. It's not like sleeves are, you know, separated and they are really soft. Almost if you have um, Claudine's bedroom playset, um, this is the same material as her blanket from there. It's really cute and I think it's like, um, how to say that, fashionista, fashionista style of clothing type of jacket. But here we have her face and just a small reminder, it's Indonesian variant. I believe she is produced only in Indonesia right now. She has really dark purple lipstick, this cute eye shadows. Those are purple and golden. On camera it looks a little bit yellow, but it's golden. You have baby hairs and this cute hairstyle. Those are two braids. And of course there is this golden brown, almost like yellowish, almost like blonde with purple and pink in her hair blend. Here we have her earrings. First one is Moon with Halloween Wolf. And this one is just simple golden earring. Here we have her hair and this is amazing. I'm not sure if you know. If you're new here, maybe you don't know, but I hate Claudine's Wolf G3 dolls hair. And this one is winning. It's soft, it's saran, I believe. It's really soft, there are curls, I hope you can see. And I don't want to touch it too much because I don't want to destroy it or give those those hair my you know oily hands. But okay, never mind. Um, those hair are amazing. They are really soft, really shiny. There is this beautiful color blend. There is pink, purple, as I said, and this brown. Of course, there are two braids connected at the back of her head. And I'm in love. I love Claudine in G3. Don't get me wrong, I love some of the designs for her dolls, but this one is winning just because she has saran hair. And that's the only thing she is doing which is winning for me. But yeah, just in general, I think she's amazing and I love that they used so much purple in her new design. And it's darker purple, not like a pinkish purple. So it's really cool and I will give her 9 out of 10. My issue with her is really small, but I think maybe some of you already noticed. Her head is a little bit more puffy. It looks bigger in the cheeks area uh, than her other dolls. I will try to show you, so give me a second. Here I have Scaradise Island Claudine. I hope you can see, but here she looks a little bit slimmer on her face. Maybe I'm the Lulu, <laughs> not sure, let me know in the comments. But I think her face in here looks much slimmer in down area. Like right there you can see it looks snatched. But here she is and it looks a little bit puffy or chubby. It's not a you know like a bad thing, just it's a little bit of a change and one more thing about her that I don't like is that there is a lot of going on right there. There is new hairstyle, really puffy jacket, but bottom part is a little bit boring because of that. So that's why it's 9 out of 10, not 10 out of 10. But yeah, I highly recommend her. If you're planning to buy her, do it. Just go for that. She's worth it, I promise. And that's all for now. I hope you liked that video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!